Good morning, viewers. Uh, let, let, let's talk about uh, what uh, former President Buhari said. He said that uh, he's satisfied with Tulubu's government. Oh, wow. Um, please, before I make this uh, uh, review, I uh, respond to your question. Um, this weekend was not very okay, especially uh, from the movie industry. We lost uh, yeah. one of the best in the industry, you know, and uh, our condolences on the, on this on behalf of this platform. I'm talking about, you know, number one comic actor in Nigeria, John Oka for Mr. Ibu, you know, uh, may your soul rest in perfect, in perfect peace. Your legacies will never be forgotten. God bless you. Then, um, on the business of the day, you know, um, well, I'm satisfied with the government. If somebody like Buhari should come out to say that he is satisfied with the suffering of Nigerians, is that means Nigerians knew now that actually, you know, it was a mistake to um, uh, 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 coming into power in 2015. No, we have seen all the rubbish he did. You, you understand? Well, it, 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 for him, if actually uh, the former president Buhari has conscience, he wouldn't have made that statement. He, he would have advised Tinubu, you know, to see how what he can do. These are people who sit down to destroy this country. And this country, he says it's their, it's their prayer that Nigeria will die untimely. Nigeria is dead already. That is just the way to go. Look at the prayers of former president when Nigerians are, are busy invading all the silos in, 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 in all the 36 states of the federation. So I give them that go to trailers. Invading all the warehouses where they can spot food. And that man from Daora is a hot name. Of course, we regret. And Nigeria is not regretting ever having you. We cannot regret. Ever having you as president is, is very annoying. That you should come out and say what you are saying. That Tinubu should continue. Ah! No wonder. No wonder that Nigeria is always on the path of collapse and destruction. It shows that you are not in tune and you have never been. That is why your ATS is zero over zero. Don't okay. mark it anywhere. The people's government, I do not blame you for the damage you done to the Nigerian economy. The people are not blaming Buhari today that he is the one that destroyed Nigeria. And the same man is coming out to tell you. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Go look, sit down and digest this thing properly. They are celebrating the downfall of Nigeria. Buhari is celebrating the downfall of Nigeria, the collapse of Nigerian economy. By encouraging, are you not seeing it? People are watching all the warehouses in all the taxi states looking for food. I, and and Buhari is saying that he's happy Nigerians are dying. When you say satisfied with the government, yeah, that's, what, what do you mean by satisfaction? Can you explain what satisfaction is in a situation like this? Where there is economic chaos, in a situation where the economy is upside down, in a situation of where tribunes, uh, trial and error, experiment, 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 has failed. He's busy telling this, it's not working. He'll call the abuse. Try this one, it's not working. Now, he has one gone back to see or else a report. And that one, too, nobody is sure the direction is going to follow. What is this rubbish all about, always? Why can't Nigerian leaders, present and former, be reasonable enough? Or how to, you know, this that kind of statement can cause tension of, uh, 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 within Nigeria. It can cause serious arrest. It's just that you are seeing a dying being, human being, and you said, uh, uh, he, 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 he's fine. Nigeria is dying. Is that we want that person psychologically? You know, uh, you are being biased. Psychologically, you are being economical with the truth. I'm talking about Buhari himself. 
Because of the same problem. Because of the same problem. He says they are not exposed, they are not educated, they are not in tune with reality. Who are those? The Harry! For making that statement. You know, the same Kiributi is not far from this analysis. He came and said he would come over the water. Stop. Even though we don't know how that statement was political, so that they can hand over power to him. But this is to tell you how patriotic they are in disguise. There's no truth. Look at this. People are climbing any truck anywhere now to see whether they can lay their hand on anything that has to do with food. On that Tinubu. And he still went to Qatar to tell investors that some of these people around him are criminals. I don't know when that is why that is we could not to pay the price. Nigerians will come to pay the price of bad institution and bad leadership or not having the right people in the hands of affairs of this country. Uneducated people. A president is seeking for investors. Now I see that let all those investors and uh, analyze you know that statement. Is that means people you are coming, their team that is surrounding you, that are criminals, they are, they are bad takers, they are corrupt people, and you are in the system, in the midst of these people, and you are letting the world go. There are no people coming here. If you come, we will need you. The environment is not even conducive for direct foreign investment. Yes, they should not come here because the reason why you floated the Naira was to grill production in Nigeria. That's one of the merits of floating of the Naira. And you still went back outside the country and you are demarcating the same policy, you are destroying the same policy. Well, Nigeria should not be blamed. These are people who manipulated their way to where they are today. And you know, I keep on saying it. Anybody that is carrying injustice will give out nothing but injustice. Tinu is riding on a stolen mandate. Tinu is riding on injustice. Tinu is riding on corruption. Tinu is trying to recover the money he spent, billions of dollars and naira he spent during elections. That's a big allegation. And that is good. Are, are, are you look at what's happening now? They say the, the subsidy is a scam. Are you not hearing it? They said the subsidy he says he removed is a scam. Government is making one he pays subsidy up to two one trillion every month. Is it not a scam? And the same government came out to tell us that they have a new subsidy. Then the money you are making, you, the money you added, and you are making for it, who are you accounting it to? Who is responsible for this money now? That is fraud. fraud. Okay. That is fraud. Okay. And people have seen it that it's another way. You, 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 you like you, you prefer to recover billions. That, that people don't have Nigeria's uh, interest at heart. What they are wanting is that you know it is there to defend and protect his own personal wealth. It didn't want the romance with Buhari up and down. The deal they did in Nigeria Republic concerning the trans. Uh, 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 Sarah, uh, plan, uh, 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 contract. The money, the table, they entered, the deal they entered between the man in uh, Nigeria, Buhari, and Tinubu, and they passed all the Nigerian money, you know, and move it to, so that at the end of the day, they will be able to share. But unfortunately, the meeting stopped. So that's why Tinubu and Buhari are praising each other. 
because they know what they do. They know the thing that transpired. They know what they use. The the after. Yes, the drugs are not where as as Yes, uh, due to anger in, in Abuja. Yes. Um, let me just say, first, uh, let me just sincerely say, I don't support that. But there's one guy in the land, I support that. That's the truth. No. I don't, it's a criminal offense when you look at it from one angle. But there is one guy in the land, your president refused to do the needful. So I support them. Because if the president had been providing for all Nigerians, there wouldn't have been any cause for that. The president is not doing anything and is not doing anything to chase away the hunger of the land. And that's why people got involved in that. I am in full support of it. Let me tell you. You know why? Because which people's money? It is our money. Yes. Government money is Nigerian money. So they went to carry the rights that belong to them. So why are you complaining? Why should anybody say they are looting? Where does looting come into that? This rice belongs to Nigeria. We Nigerians. We it is our rice. You packed it somewhere. Those guys that say, okay, we don't want you to distribute it to our house. Don't bring it to our house. Let us go and carry that. Even they, no, they even they saved energy for government. Government would have been distributing it to them. But they said, No, let us go and carry it ourselves. Uh -huh. So to me, it's nothing. Because it means it is the rice. Be, uh, be arrested. Let me tell you something. Be arrested or not arrested. Whether you arrest or not, you will leave them. You know why? It is their food. It is high time you tell Tinubu and let him know that the food they carry is Nigerian food. It is not his father's food. On Nigeria can show So it is Nigerian food. The hunger did not stop today. Under the, what do you mean hunger? That did you experience hunger in Buhari regime? We explain about Buhari regime is still manageable. This one, something you buy today will rise tomorrow, will rise tomorrow. I use you want people to keep short. Now, bag of rice is almost it, something thousand. Now, imagine those one that can rice. My brother, I feel sorry for something thousand, I don't make money. That's it. For the something thousand, that means it can see. Now, if you have strength, you carry three bags. My brother. <laughs> you know you are mate. So you can imagine. You are supporting you. Wait, wait. Imagine when you carry your family. Maybe when I be six, when I carry six bags. Oh my, you are mate because forty forty thousand or fifty fifty thousand into six places. My brother, you are in with something. The Nigerians have been reduced this level. Yes, because you don't have a president who have thinking for court. Who have thinking crap. He doesn't think. He doesn't even know his left from right. He's just there as a decorational president. A, the president we just decorate. He's just there as a decorational president. He's not functioning. And so, what do you expect? Okay, am I going to sit down? Or to anger finishes me? No, I'm not going to do that. I will just have to move. That's the truth. Can go farm. Can go See, I tell you something in this country. If you're not wise, you're not wise. That's the truth. I remember one day I was going to Ikeja. I was hearing army camo flag. I don't even know that that is. To me, it does not really look like camo. But some guys were telling me, ah, army, they catch you. That was good. So when I book, you know this army. Kate! You just, Kate! I know say army that they call. I just walk out. Now the guy chased me. Army man. Tap me for bad. He said, Kate, my friend. Will I hear you, Chris? Kate, I know yes, I don't call you. Now they are saying, ah, okay. <laughs> at least my fans, oh. so one time he said, No, no, me. I'm a celebrity at the art movie. So we have a, a movie to act with uh, uh, the superstars there. So I'm acting a military officer. And why are you stopping me? This Kay, at the art movie, call? I say, Yes, Kay, no more over Shaggy. We are like, I don't know. No problem, they go. And so I take escape. Oh. What I'm saying is, this country has become a country you must use your brain. If you let guy tap me or more. I connect to my brain because they can't beat you have a job, let me smoke. I had to connect to my brain. You understand? So what I'm trying to say is that, yes, I know very well. A lot of people used to say, M. Sigrama talks about, he comes from a Juju village. That when you do anything, you'll be Juju. My brother, you the crazy. Not be everywhere Juju, they work. If I'm a man, how to begin slap you? Juju know the work of that Juju for that minute. You go just the standard they watch you. Juju only works when you want Juju to work. So in that situation, 
to leave Juju out of it. Why am I blaming Tinubu for the hunger? Tinubu is responsible for... Shebi has come out to tell us that he's responsible for what is happening. Yes, imagine Nigerians. They are very stupid. Tell him to resign. You are coming out to admit that you are responsible for what is happening to Nigerians. I better resign. Get out from there. You don't know what you're doing. But nobody will talk. Nobody will say that. Everybody. He has bought everybody with money. I'm forgetting that one day we are going to die. Shebi Mr. Ibu is dead. 62 years. Just died. Nobody knows the day he's going to go. All of them, nobody knows. Even Tinibu, he can be stoned tomorrow. He can be next tomorrow. And I tell you, if he dies, Nigeria will celebrate. That's the truth. Oh, Benny Jack has, let's call it spade a spade. Tinibu. No, I don't even pray for Shetima because that would be worse than Tinibu. We will just do for you to come remove Shetima there. That one will be worse than Tinibu. Don't even bring that one near the power. I'm telling you, Shetima is on. See, instead of Shetima, more they manage Tinibu. Mm, instead of Shetima, let's see me managing Tinibu until it starts. We have to troop to the street. And that's why I'm calling on this, telling Nigerians that let us gather our mind, assemble together. Let us have a national protest. Where we the protest. NLC. We are not, not NLC. Forget those ones are thieves. Today, even mention NLC. Those ones are thieves. So we are not this one. We are our own NLC now. Their own than them. We are not involving NLC. Those ones are thieves. Come, talk tomorrow. Yeah, I go protest. And thieves. So I don't want to involve that. I don't even know my NLC chairman. I don't even know him. I don't know his name. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that this one is political demonstration. As in, we civilians, we are going to demonstrate. So tell them, Tinubu, we don't want you again. Go. I will chase Tinubu away from power. Okay. Then we'll bring in somebody. It's just quite unfortunate. If Tinubu goes, it is still going to be Shetima. So Tinubu is the man. That is four years complete. Okay, uh, then from there, we'll not chase two of them out of government. Then we'll not have the man that God has ordained. Who is the man? Peter Obi. Listen, I'm a P2B candidate. Not be, I'm not following P2B. Listen, P2B don't think I'm following you because of the things you say. No. I'm following you based on your performance in Anambra when you were there as a governor. Not because of what you say. P2B is going to be enemy to the riches in Nigeria if it's in government. But it's going to be friend to the promises. I am very sure of that. It's going to be friend to the promises but it's going to be enemy to the rich people. So, then I, I foresee next election after four years, Tinubu is not going to go back there. I don't want, if you want to buy a neck, uh, Peter B is stepping in as the next president yeah, yeah. of this country. Right. So, I'm beginning to use the opportunity to congratulate Tinubu, uh, to congratulate Peter B in advance that you are going to be the next president, no matter what the Nigeria says. But at this point in time, I want to say this, I remain just an only MC grammar. But before I go, I want 